when all is said and done, a record 68 million American adults are expected to wager more than $20 billion on Sunday's Super Bowl matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. News 8's Rich Coppola here tonight to put those numbers into perspective. Rich. Well, Lisa, those estimates represent a whopping 35% increase from 2023 estimates, according to the American Gaming Association. The reasons behind the potential increase are many. How about the expansion of legal sports betting, for one? Commercials for sports betting have become the norm. 38 states, including Connecticut, plus the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico, offer regulated betting, and venues like the new Mohegan Sun FanDuel Sportsbook are gearing up for Super Sunday. News John Pearson spoke with General Manager Brad Bryant about a survey that indicates that approximately 67 million adults could combine to bet 23 billion on Super Bowl 58. How big a part of that is legalized gambling? I think that's a lot of it. There's more that's legal now. There's not as much that is in the, uh, you know, the underworld, as they say. But this is like March Madness, Kentucky Derby. It brings people out that maybe don't bet year-round, but they want them to have a bet on the Super Bowl. It's just no better place to watch the game, the 140-foot video wall behind us. But everybody that gets a table this weekend will have a stadium-style buffet. Uh, they'll get a couple of free drink tickets. They get a chance to win free slot play. And certainly, as you can imagine, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl being held in Las Vegas this year just adds to the betting element. Again, the American uh, Gaming Association says more than 42 million American adults plan to place a traditional sports wager online at a retail sports book or with a bookie, up 41% from last year. I'm Rich Coppola, News 8.